Welcome back. So I know it's been a few weeks since we uploaded a video, but it's been a very busy few weeks, so I haven't had time. But we have two um, exciting things to tell you. Actually, there's more than two things. The first thing I wanted to show you all is Jordan's pasture. We finally finished it. It took us two good weeks of working on it every day, my husband and I. We had one day where people helped us, but <clears throat> it was really just him and I. It almost looks like we know what we're doing. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. So yesterday, we moved the goats over here for the first time. But anyway, the story behind Jordan's pasture is... um. Abby had a little bottle baby that she cared for several times a day. Um, this little goat named Jordan really, really had um, a close bond with Abby, and she had a very close bond to him. And he was about 40 days old. Um, we got heavy snow the one night. All the animals, including the pigs, like bundled up and got close together in the hoop house. Um, because we only had one pasture, they had to share it. Um, and the next morning, Abby came in. She couldn't find Jordan. And it had been cold. It had, we got quite a bit of snow. Uh, she asked me to go look for him, so I went and found him. And he was underneath a pig. A pig had laid on him and crushed him. Um, it was one of the hardest things I've had to go through as a mother, as a farmer. And I wouldn't want to ever have to see her go through that again or for uh, us to experience that. So what I did is I told my story on Facebook. Um, all of our dedicated followers, many of them donated enough money. In the end, it ended up being about 3000 I think the fence cost us closer to four, but $3,000 of the fencing materials were purchased through passionate people who who just care about us and it was just a really sweet kind heartwarming thing that they did for us but I didn't want to have to experience that again I, I really need to be able to separate my animals a little better and so that's exactly what we did so we waited for the weather to get a little nicer and we installed our fence so, yeah, it was about two weeks worth of work, but it's a beautiful pasture. We don't have, like, really good uh, greens coming up in here yet. We don't have, like, a good grass mix. Over there, we had sown in clover, and it's, like, three different types of clover and uh, some other grasses. It's a really beautiful pasture mix. Right now, it's overgrazed because everyone's been on it winter time and the grass obviously doesn't grow in the winter so it got kind of worn down but yeah so here it is and our our sweet friend made us a a pasture sign um thanking our contributors we're planning on putting that up by the gate up here you know so we never forget how we were able to purchase this pasture or the materials to do this pasture and then the other exciting thing is uh, I th we had solar ins installed. Um, just making sure no cars are coming through. Make sure your brother gets across, okay? Come on, Caleb. We got to get a farm crossing sign. Because people fly down this road, I'm telling you. Rob almost got hit a few days ago. So I called... Um, the highway administration, I'm trying to get a farm crossing sign put in. I haven't heard back from anyone yet. But anyway, so, yeah, we had solar installed. And I don't think it's going to save us much money. But, it's, you know, it's nice to know where our electric's coming from. And we also, we had put the ghosts over there. We moved them over here this morning. Rob wants to graze down because we don't want to have to pay for gasoline costs and put extra hours on our machines. So this helps us keep it down and it saves us money on hay. 
you know, it saves the pastures from overgrazing as well. We want to try getting that to come in a little nicer. But we'll be putting them back over there tonight. And during the day, we're just moving them around in the meadow area here. And keep this nice and grazed. And also, the other exciting news is, Mocha, we're pretty sure she's expecting in December. We, we had a friend come out, um, artificially inseminated her for us. So we should have a, a little Jersey heifer that's coming this December. But look at this. It's a beautiful day, guys. We've had like a whole week of nothing but cloud and clouds and rain. Even though it's been on the mild side, it hasn't been enjoyable because it's been really windy and rainy. But look, they're just loving life right now. I think most of our babies have been born for this season. I have one more mommy expecting. She's over here somewhere. Yeah, right there, the one closest to the black one right here. She's due. She's this her first time having babies. Everyone's enjoying the sunshine. And mountain goat, this big guy over here. Not you, you're in my way, Marshall. I want to show everyone mountain goat. Come here, Marsh. Come here. You're in the way. Anyway, mountain goat, we couldn't move. He's a very wild goat in comparison to my other ones. And he, you see his horns, right? I mean, I don't want to get stabbed by that. So it's all right because I had to keep midnight. My black and white goat up there. I had to keep her in here because, uh, let me see if I can zoom in. I had to keep her in here because we milk her every day. So it's okay that he's in here because she needs a friend anyway. But he's like a wild looking goat. I'm telling you. That's like what you think of when you think of like a creepy goat. But he, I mean, he's pretty cool besides being wild. I mean, he's not aggressive or anything. And I wanted to update you on Marshall. Yeah, I know you want to be, you want me to film you too. And Mabel, they're both doing good. They're doing good. They like it here. Uh, we're pretty sure Mabel's expecting and she's due in May. But it's too early to know for sure. But I'm hoping. I, I got my fingers crossed. But they're, they really have adjusted well here. They're doing real good. They like their job. At their other farm, they showed some aggression towards chickens, but I haven't had any issues with that here. I mean, they've been real good. They flip, fit right into their roles, and they work with Bailey up there. Bailey, she does a great job, and she's a quite a bit older than them. They're a year, about a year old. Marshall just had a, his year birthday, actually. Mabel turned a year in January. And then, um, show you Mocha and our new solar array. I didn't want to make too long of a video, but I did want to update you because I don't know when we'll be able to update you again. But Miss Moke, they're trimming the tree back to treat the pines back right here. You see, that's what we're feeding the goats over here. He trimmed them back so that we can walk Mocha through. Because we're going to put her down here on fresh pasture too. Everyone's been eating hay. You know, I've been spending a lot of money on hay since December. So I'm really thankful this is going to save us quite a bit of money to do this. To have the grass coming back in again. And it's much healthier for the goats as well. But where's Miss Mocha? There's my bottle babies. 
Are you doing a good job, Marshall? Watching over the babies, huh? Look, aren't they the sweetest? Aren't they the sweetest? Look at them. Look at Miss Mocha. She likes that. She likes that too. Don't you like the evergreen too? Huh? The juniper, huh? You like that? You want to say hi, Miss Mocha? She's doing really well here too. But like I said, we're pretty sure she's due in December. I think December 12th is the date we figure it out, right around then. But anyway, I gotta get to feeding the flock. Everyone's hungry this morning. Oh, Rob's moving the stanchion out. I didn't realize. I guess we're putting that in the pasture. But there's the solar array, guys. They have to change the angle on it, though. The angle's not sharp enough. And we're not getting the optimum uh, exposure needed every day, so they're going to re—they're going to readjust that angle for us, hopefully soon. But anyway, just wanted to update you all, and stay tuned for more exciting stuff. We're going to be putting the chickens out on pasture soon. But I better help Robert with this. Y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see you again soon.